Kia ora everyone, it's Joey here, and today we're doing um, a review of a recorded game of a clanmate that wants help with the game. So this isn't going to be um, like an analysis like I'd normally do, it's going to be going over stuff for chaos that he can work on in his gameplay, because it would be cool to see him, you know, improve the game. It's, it's pretty fun trying to get good at games, it, I quite like it, I did it with League of Legends for a bit. I would like to learn more more games. Um, so this we've got we've got Ra versus Isis on Marsh. He's playing. I think that's Mose. That was I Mose Kevin, right? His name's like A A B B B C C C C D D on our dear sanctuary. I think it's crazy. Um, so Ra versus Isis on uh, Marsh, and this will be quite a good map. Um, for him to show me like how good his ISIS is. So first thing I would want him to do would be um, scout with Pharaoh. Like I'd I want to see him go just up into this area and around maybe just just quickly. You can find some good stuff, or if you just send him straight out the front and walk back in, you sometimes can just find a relic straight away. Alright, I'm gonna chuck this in play fast. You guys probably don't need this. And I just don't want it to go too fast that I miss stuff. He's doing an interesting build, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get kind of salty at him for this build. So, yeah, number two, better build. And I, and I can write some, like, better builds up for you. But I'll talk about it now. But kind of like... I don't know why you've gone to food. So we need to food early. Yeah, okay, third big thing. you got to split your hunt. So this is what happens when you don't split your hunt. Like, I think he's going to get doesn't even have a Templar. Like, yeah, his his build's just so not good right now. He should be going, what I like to do is go, you're three to food, then three to gold. Some, some players go two, because um, that's all they feel they need for obelisk production and stuff. Um, yeah, and then you can make um, three more to food. Or, or two. You can either go five or six, depending on how good your hunt is. It's just basically you're putting on the food early so you can set up to do like everything in your economy you need, which is really is get the monument out. So you don't need to keep adding to food. You only add to food so that you can make a monument plus keep village production. And then you got to get onto wood so you can get your economy ups. So, yeah. That's kind of what he should have done with his build. And now this is what happens when you don't split your hunt. You have to move, and he's going to be gathering no food. And so he, he see how he lost food from having to move move hunt. It's uh, way way more inefficient. I'm just gonna rig. Yeah, so his scouting isn't good enough. And his uptime is so slow. He should be up like 515, sending that Sphinx straight away to the settlement and then taking like f three or four priests and a pharaoh. Because sometimes if the raw play is slow, like you, you got to remember maybe like his build didn't go perfectly. Um, maybe his hunt was kind of shit or something that he's not going to up like perfectly on time that he wants to. So you just send your Sphinx to the back town center at 5.15 and then start sending your priests and maybe, you know, five times out of ten you catch it. It's good just to do that, do that kind of stuff. You you want to always play like aggressive, like choosing not to do that is just playing really defensive and, and, and doesn't, doesn't help you win the game. Rig. 
Rig. Yeah, he needs to fix his gold mine too. These villages need to be sorted out better. I like to go three on wood. Especially on a map like Marsh versus Ra. You want to have like really good aggression. But Ra's going to have such a good economy. That I kind of like to go three on wood. So that I can get my, my ups faster. And then and really and, and it, having three on wood means you can get shaft mine for your prosperity. On Marsh I really like to do a massive... Um, prosperity so that I can get a forward Migdol and then take a town center because you're never gonna like this a good ride you're not gonna be able to win you like if you're better than them your AE aggression and you can actually win them for true but this good ride players you're they're gonna be able to hold everything you do and you just need to play to get four town centers and once you have four town centers you can completely control his trade routes and you can't win so you you pretty much win, not on his second mine, but on his third mine, um, if you get four town centers. Because he can't get a trade, and then you're sitting on his next gold mine. Yeah, this heroic's too slow, and he should be leaving five on food, six maybe, because sometimes an alley or two is nice. Um, he's not going to have shaft mine. Oh, he does have shaft mine. And he got that. Why has he got that instead of the food one? Okay, does, does clicking the villager and getting that actually tell you? Actually, we could check. Because the only ups he's going to have are eco ups. Four. Unless he's upgraded his priests. Five. Um, research. Eight. Yeah, he must have got it. Let's go. Oh yeah, because there's two on here. One, two, three, four, five. Then the priest up six. Relic must count as an up. I think it does. And then uh, eight would be full of now. So I think he does have it. Well, that's good then. Yeah, he needs to be leaving people on food. Yeah, you can see his resources going up when he's going to leave food. I thought his scouting was really poor to start with too. Like, this is just not necessary. This should have just been the pharaoh. And then your priest can go side to start. Side's always nice to start because you, you find cloth stuff that's close to you. And then you go forward and then you just start going aggressively. And then your pharaoh's kind of just looped around here, picked up a relic. And then you can just scout aggressively with obelisks here. Alright, we're gonna go and play fast because I'm probably boring everybody. Losing those priests was pretty cheap. I like I like his aggression on the Migdal. It's quite nice. You wanna just harass this. It doesn't have towers or houses and it's got his like safe gold mine. You can just sit here and harass it. Alright, let's think about this. We gotta just evaluate if I like this AE or not. I don't see the point. You could do so much more damage to him. Like, he's just gonna possibly lose this town center, which is like, who gives a fucking shit? Isis has no AE, and I have stronger Migdol units. If I'm a Ra player and I see this, I think I, I would be very happy with this. I'd just put my villagers in here. Let him attack the shit out of this. Then when he's got to commit to killing the town center or trying to go for your villages, and if he goes f for your villages, he knows he won't kill the town center, that's when you drop your villages out, if that makes sense. Because he's going to get to a point where, like, Ancestors has, like, 10 seconds to go and your town center's got, like, like 800 HP. And it's like, uh, if, if I go for this, I'll be able to kill it during the AA. But if I... If I run off to kill villagers, I'm not going to kill this town center. So he's fully committed into killing the town center. Just drop your villagers out. And all you lose is having to rebuild that. You've still got it, all the eco you've you've used from this two town center still exists. So you would just let the town center die, get your villagers out. And then you would have, like, 
this pet is just going to be the most annoying thing at 20 range. Those priests have to get really close to the chariots and then they're easy to kill. Um, yeah, he, and his production is going to be better because he's on two town centers while he's just on one. And his economy isn't amazing. He's had a lot of idle gold time as well. So yeah, I don't like to say, I think he should have had two siege towers out. And just harass this. Keep him off these resources. Get the siege towers out. And then his army will come across. And he'll try fight you. And if you kill this town center and kill his army, you're so far ahead. So I don't like this A at all. This guy's got tons of wood. Yeah, you can see how he's really mismacroed. I don't, I don't understand where all of his gold went. Yeah, most, most fucked up here. He's actually getting quite nice control from this. Just gonna shift the priest away. That's frustrating. <laughs> I hate shift sand sometimes, bursting it. Even though I'm a raw player and I use it. Yeah, Mo should have never been able to get a Migdol here to start with. That's another really big mistake. This macro right now, yeah, you need to just just check your idols more. Um, basically, the Isis macro I run by is I leave five on food when I go heroic. Maybe six or seven if I want to just make a couple alleys, depending on the situation, and then. I split everyone else on wood and gold, and then that's enough wood. If you get hand axe, you need like 14 villages max, and that gives you like complete production for your siege towers and chariots. Um, and then the rest of the gold with the prosperity, and you'll always kind of like just be having extra gold, and then you can just add to food from here, from your town center onto herdables, or if you have nice hunt, you can just be adding them here. And then as soon as you get, which will happen very quickly because you're adding to food, as soon as you get to about 10 villages on food, which is all of like, like two minutes into heroic, you'll, um, you'll be able to grab town centers easily. Kind of like the most important resource before 15 minutes is food. You'll win, you, you, you can win more games just by learning how to have more food. And, and that's what you can really work on right now too. So yeah, the macro bit slow. It's okay. See how he plays this one out. Because really the Ra player shouldn't be losing from here. Once Ra gets ahead of you and score, you, you kind of just like, shit. <laughs> this is going to be gay. You're going to take a lot of mercenaries <laughs> and not be able to kill anything. Camels are questionable for Moe's. I mean, I wouldn't be making camels. I'd just be getting the biggest trade I could. And then as soon as I want something, you just... You just have to merc it. What I, what I normally do with Rara is build up. Um, he's done really well. Yeah, Moe's really didn't do it with the camels. He should have just gone pets and chariots. That's, that's hard to deal with. Uh, I'm not sure about having your pharaoh in these fights. I'm not sure what the point is. He's not really making any myth units. You've seen he hasn't made any. I would have him doing something useful. Yeah, by sort of... Yeah, th this is what really shows the macros off. And that's something if you just literally work on macro, you'll be better at this game. If... If you watch Magic's Isis, at 15 minutes in the game, he'll be four town centers fortified. With with more aggression on somebody. I'm not sure why you're choosing to fight this. I would You want to be fighting that, or you want to be fighting here. Right now you're just kind of sitting in no man's land. Unless you're getting like a Migdol up here, and then just go straight for this town center, and it cuts them nicely. But... Yeah, you're kind of fighting for nothing. These siege towers need to be... They need to be just killing all of his houses. I'd 
would make another into. thing there or split them between gold mines. Man, Mo looks old. Old and slow. <laughs> I would not be making alleys like at all like that. No. <laughs> no. You've got 32 on gold. This is uh, yeah. <laughs> You've had a rough point in the game, which is just what happens with bad macro but from like earlier, just not having like four town centers by now. It look, it look, it's, it, I've, you, I have it happen to me sometimes. It, it sucks. Yeah, but basically anything that happens from now can be avoided from from the earlier points I've said. I think we're slowly gonna watch him lose. God damn, 3k gold. Like, when you have 3,000 gold, take all of your gold villages and go make farms. Like, this is some really cheap easy tricks uh, for, for like real bad miss macro I would take like at least half of them and just go all make farms and then add villages to gold you've got such a massive stockpile you don't need to be gathering any for like a good couple of minutes but you gotta add villages back to that resource and it kind of Flattens it out nicely. Into you. I would start placing farms properly. I know it's like there's so much to do in the game and you can't be fucked per pay placing these perfect farms but just just do it you'll always have way more resources ha <laughs> oh, been cheeky it's an annoying McDowell oh man into Yeah, I mean, you can just see how far behind you are in economy, just from the size of this trade route. That's rough. Those raw chariots are so much stronger. <laughs> if you've got that many alleys and siege towers, you need to be direct. Just walk out of stuff and try to kill it. Holy crap. Each town's having a good time. <laughs> yeah, alright, we're gonna move on to the next game. So what did I say at the start? Scout for a bit of build, split your hunt, work on the macro. So yeah, basically what you want to do in this matchup is like like you know, get get a Ford McDowell near a town center, gold mines and hunt, and just control the map. You're gonna just have to make like one or two alleys, chariots, and and do 
an aggressive AE of some sort, but be quite mindful of your economy at the same time. You can, the other option is just to go like 7.30 at the latest heroic and just, just do a completely balls deep ice as fast heroic on them. Because you might be like versus average RA players who will get heroic at like 9 minutes on a 2TC. The RA players have to be faster than 8.20 for it to work properly and if they're doing like a 9 minute and you just bulldoze like half his base before he even gets heroic then you had to do that. So that's another good option. Yeah, your AE was uh, kind of wasted, and always try to think about where you're fighting and what you're fighting for. Always try to fight at resources or population, and then as the army turns up, you can fight that. Alright, we'll move on to the next game.